All right, so we got another video pertaining to the Amaral vacuum, the 12 volt car vacuum. And if you watched my previous video, you heard me complain about the um, the filter. And I didn't like the fact that they used 80s technology filter. I figured they should have used some kind of, if they're gonna use a filter at all, it should be a, of some kind of non-fiber type of filter that you can wash easily to get the dirt off opposed to this fabric type filter and the reason why I don't like these fabric type filters is for one they tend to retain odor and sometimes these fibers can break off inside the vacuum and get inside the motor and that could cause a big problem so I was thinking 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 I came up with an idea initially to try to make some kind of mesh filter but I figured ah uh, they gotta be an easier way and um I found it so this is the hack in preserving these filters so I'm gonna demonstrate how I did it what I used and I'll give you the necessary stuff that you'll need in order to complete this task alright so this is my brand new vacuum have used it a couple of times in previous videos and this is my filter which is relatively new I wash it a couple of times so that's why it has this kind of a lot of lint on top of it but let me show you guys what I did so I went to CVS and you can pick this up this is a um, toddlers ultra strong cleansing wipe and it's basically if not the same material highly similar material that's used in these what these one filters. might want to do you can go to CVS this only cost me a dollar ninety seven I don't know in your city how much it would be but it's a dollar ninety seven in my city so what you do is you take the the wipe and you just put it over the um, filter like so what I like to do is spray a little fragrance on the filter so I don't have my fragrance so I'm just gonna use one of my friends fragrance and that's gonna give the car a nice clean fresh whatever fragrance you have if you even if you are even into fragrances I tend to spray that on my filter and I put it in like so so you just want to get that in there you want to make sure the filter is able to um, this might work for any other vacuum that has this type of design so you just want to do it just like a coffee um a coffee maker the same concept so you put this over the filter you just kind of tug it in there believe me it's it's easy it's just that I have I try to do it in the view of the camera but it goes in real nice and easy you can even tuck it inside it's not gonna do anything but just blow on top of the uh, motor Alright, so we just put that on like so. And believe me, the, the scent is real nice coming out of the vacuum. Alright, so we have it like that. So let's just vacuum the carpet. Let me put my attachment on. So I'm just going to put my attachment on. So that I can just get up all the lint and the hairs.
Okay, so now the moment of truth. Let's see how we did. All right, so let me get the um, get the pad. All right, let's see how we did. So you see, folks, it actually works. <laughs> it actually works, and all I have to do. I know it's gonna get back on the carpet, but so this this thing actually works. So that's the hack. And look, you have a perfectly clean filter. So if I had thought of this before my initial use, because what I did was use it, then I washed it. So that's why it looks so linty because I washed it after the first use I think after this the first and second use I washed it but then after I did the first video I came up with this idea let me just try it with the um the wipes and see what happens so you as you can see all the dirt got caught by the um the wipe and nothing was transferred over to the filter so the filter is squeaky clean and all the dirt is transferred over so the let me get another um let me get another wipe so that I don't create a mess. Alright, so I'm I'm just gonna use this because I wanna flip everything over, so I'm just gonna use this microfiber cloth just in case anything falls off. Alright, so this is the top half. So I'm gonna fold it over. Let me see if I can get the camera in focus. Alright, that's perfect. Alright, so I'm going to fold it over. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So absolutely nothing got transferred over into the filter. And this is my, you know, lint from the floor carpet. And as you can see, there is dirt and it clings on to this this fiber pretty well I have to add that it does it does really cling to this fiber very well so I could just take this and I can actually use it to clean the inside because it's still a little bit moist not that much all the moisture from this wipe was sucked through the vacuum so this is actually a dry piece of cloth so I can use that to clean the thing up and I can just dump the remaining trash well you guys get the idea I don't want the video to drag on so that's the hack you put one of these wet wipes between the filter and this filter should last you forever you just use one of these. Once you're done, you just dispose it. These are cheap. This is only $1.97. The filter for this is $15. And that's how they get you. They basically sell you a, a decent vacuum, but they get you on the filters. Because if you run this vacuum till the filter gets clogged, then the filter is eventually going to break. And once that filter breaks, all the debris is going to get trapped in the vacuum which is going to render the vacuum useless. So that's how they get you. Because they know you're not going to keep up with the, the filters. After the second filter, you're going to run that to the ground. And then you're going to end up having to buy a new vacuum. And being that this is a nicely nicely built vacuum and the performance is pretty decent, you more or less you're going to go back to the same armor or vacuum. So then they'll get you for another vacuum. And uh, you know the cycle is never ending. So, to recap, grab one of these, throw it in between the vacuum. what I do, once I throw mines out, I just set up another one. So, to make it real simple, with this particular vacuum, you can you take put it in don't. like so. Just like, just like a coffee maker at home. If you drink coffee, then you, you, know, you know this process already. This is the coffee drinker process. And you just throw it in like so. You get that in snug. It's not that bad. It can go in snug without 
damaging the um, filter you fold it in you don't have to but you know I fold it in so that it could close properly so that the material is not jammed between that chiseled out locking thing me mechanism thing that's right here you want to clear that you don't want this to get trapped in there because it won't close properly so you, you just fold it over nice and neatly and you just close it and once you're done you always change it like I said this is a dollar this thing is only a dollar the package is a dollar ninety seven plus tax in my city I don't know how much it costs in your city but CVS should be the same around the country all the prices so um yeah you just throw one in there and it's even better because it's gonna dry out then you just run it once you're done, so you hit me it up. Out. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Definitely check out my website. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, leave that in the comment section. Or if you have any questions or concerns or something that I didn't cover in the video, definitely let me know in the comment section. This is your boy Precision Connections at PrecisionConnectionsAuto.com. And I'll see you next video.